when I was doing these evaluations, I was given huge volumes of information, sometimes thousands of pages of documents, medical records, school records, reports from witnesses and other informants and other types of documentation, including, of course, criminal and police records. And I had to sift through these mountains of information and 99% of it was completely irrelevant, but that 1% had the key details. And so it gave me these detective type of sleuthing skills to find the needle in the haystack and relate the facts together to draw up a very reasonable and logical opinion. Now, while I was doing this, I was very academically oriented. So I became involved in research and published several papers and studies. I also mentored students and taught research. And in doing that, I was a little unusual, but because my engineering school type background and my affinity for math, I actually did my own statistics and ran my own data. I even programmed in the statistical software software when necessary. And I think this is a critical and missing piece from much of the medical research where you have doctors who design a clinical experiment, but then hand it off to a statistician to actually analyze the data. And there's a disconnect where the doctor doesn't really understand what types of statistical models are being applied to their data and how to interpret those and know if the questions adequately that need to be answered. 